Sad. Are you feeling hot? Okay, sleep wherever you want. I'm sure you're comfortable. But there's this whole place, this whole bed here, which is just for cats, and it's in front of the window. But no, he wants to sleep on the floor. Hi guys and welcome to a new vlog. Hello from my little jungle where everything is growing so beautifully because it's monsoon and there are just new signs of life everywhere. Like really everywhere. Look at this little new leaf. You can tell she's new because she's so much lighter than all of the other leaves. It'll get dark eventually but I love that new leaf look and that new leaf color. And I've actually started taking cuttings of a couple of my plants, of my mechans and this plant that I just showed you guys. I'm propagating them in water so that I can start sharing these wonderful plants with friends. It's the last day of June today. So it's the last day of the first half of 2021. Tomorrow is the 1st of July, start of the second half of the year and also my mom's birthday. So yay! <laughs> By the time you see this, uh, it will be done of course her birthday so a very special and sweet day for us we don't really do anything much at home for anybody's birthdays and she is the most fuss free person ever in fact if you try to get anything for my mom or gift her anything it can be really frustrating because you know she always says she doesn't want any gifts or she doesn't want anything special and she means it it's not like being passive aggressive or something she actually means it so she's a nightmare to shop for or anything uh, but she likes eating stuff so hopefully i will get her some small food items that she likes that's the plan and she's gonna get a million phone calls because my mom is very very popular tomorrow is also a special day for me for kind of a selfish reason i have been hinting about it in few videos and vlogs even on my main channel that i've been working on something a little project and all of that so i finally decided to start like a small business <laughs> Of things that I make and I will use this platform to occasionally maybe sell some ceramic stuff that I make and also to sell some other things that I hand make it is a work in progress but I finally decided on a name for that brand and uh, yeah it makes me so nervous to talk about this but uh, tomorrow the 1st of July is when I finally will make that name public and when the website will actually start and all that may take a few more weeks or even a month but tomorrow the brand identity is going to be out in the world i'm going to leave an instagram to my new brand <laughs> below i know why i'm doing this like it feels very weird to say that i'm going to have a brand because it's very terrifying and it's still going to be just me like this youtube channel like 99 percent me and also a few people in my life who are supporting me but I don't know. It's it's very scary and it's very exciting. Anyway, check out the Instagram if you guys have the time, I guess. <sighs> I'm having Tetley's Elaichi tea right now. It's just so tasty. It's really yummy. So today's vlog, I actually have a little haul for you guys. It's not very big, but there are a few things that I wanted and needed from Amazon, from Flipkart, from Agio. Not really food, but just some other stuff. So I'm gonna bring it over here and we can open it up. So here's a little pile of stuff that I'm gonna be opening up today. And as always, everything that I show you guys is going to be listed and linked in the description bar below this video. So you can check it out over there. How do I open this? I guess I open it from here but this is a little item of clothing that I purchased uh, from Flipkart I very rarely shop on Flipkart but I saw this thing and I bought it and then I realized it's on Amazon also so I'll just leave an Amazon link below 
do I need any new clothing right now? No, I don't. I have a good amount of stuff. But I saw this t-shirt and it really spoke to me. I could not resist it. It felt like one of those things that was really made for me and it speaks to my current hobbies. So, you know. I also kind of justify some t-shirt purchases because um, when I'm filming new videos, most of the time, like for the main channel, the thing that you guys see that I'm wearing is t-shirts. So, I like having a lot of different t-shirts and maybe one day I'll make a t-shirt collection video. Like no promises on timelines, but one day it'll happen. It's the t-shirt that I purchased from Levi's and it's this beautiful dark green color and it just says one with nature and I thought it was so lovely. Uh, it has this little simple drawing of flowers and mushrooms, which, you know, I thought was really pretty. It's a nice cotton fabric, a little bit on the thinner side, but it'll be really comfortable. I like that it's a dark color. Also, it was at a good price because a lot of things are just on sale right now. So it's a good time to buy something if you need it. Like if you don't need it, avoid buying, of course. But if you're looking to just add like few new things to your wardrobe or whatever, now is a good time to pick them up. I bought something from Amazon Basics brand after a really long time. And in the last few days that I've not been vlogging, I have spent a little of my time doing some projects around the house. I know I had promised that I would get this room set up and I have not made any progress there. But just certain things that were needed to be done like since covid hit last year we do get parcels and stuff we take deliveries but we stop letting anybody into the house if we had any electrical issues if we had any hardware issues we either fixed it ourselves or we made do without it i can literally count on one hand the number of people that have been in our house since last year we only had to let the like wi-fi internet guy in once and then finally the other day we called the plumber in once but even when things stopped working we made do and i don't know if that was like being over cautious or whatever but those were the measures we felt that we needed to take so because of that we've started doing a lot of like stuff around the house and whenever i try my hand at doing something handy i just really really enjoy it and i feel like we don't do handiwork at home so much in india because labor is cheap here like if you look in the context of an international country like in america or something they do a lot of their work at home itself because labor is so expensive but yeah because of income inequality it's really cheap and also i think sometimes girls are not encouraged to try these things so there are certain areas that still intimidate me I still don't know how to do anything electrical and I'm not sure I will learn that. I'll leave it to professionals because it can be dangerous. But I really like screwing things. That sounds dirty so <laughs> don't take it in any other way. But I really like screwing and assembling things I like painting stuff. And so I have started buying a few tools that will be mine. There are tools at home. Uh, but you know I'm purchasing a few new tools because it gives me a really nice confidence boost to do these things myself and it's a way to stay safe also and I gave you guys a big story but what I actually bought now were these these are just so pretty look at these colors you guys if you don't know what these are like we don't use them too much in India but sometimes we need them if you buy uh, furniture from Ikea or from Amazon Basics, occasionally you'll need these tools. These are called either hex keys or Allen wrenches. And they have this like a wrench shape here, this polygonal shape. So sometimes you use these instead of screwdrivers to tighten nuts and bolts. Only if the nut and bolt needs a uh, hex key or an Allen wrench. So a few of the things around the house need these things. And I had one or two. I lost them so I figured might as well invest in a full set and there were cheaper sets but I had my eye on this set because it is so pretty. <laughs> now that I'm holding it in my hands I feel that it's absolutely worth the money. It feels amazing. I don't know what metal this is. This is either iron or stainless steel but it's really heavy and the colors look wonderful. So I'm gonna use this to title a few things around the house and I will keep it in my toolbox. One thing that I really want to do is learn how to use a drill properly. 
my dad has a drill and I tried using it last year to drill a hole in stainless steel pot uh, but uh, no not stainless steel just steel pot I guess stainless is anyway just a coating but I, I didn't manage to do it few of you guys even gave me tips but ultimately I was not able to put that force because of a lack of confidence but I want to do that and I ultimately want to learn to drill holes in concrete also so these are things that I'm going to slowly work up towards I got a set of gel pens from this brand called Keiko I have seen this brand around on Amazon and I don't think these are as good as the Muji gel pens. Muji gel pens are really nice, but they cost 100 bucks. And I think I, I think I got this for a little bit cheaper. So these are colored gel pens, meaning not just the pens are colored, but the ink is also colored. And this particular one is available in a few different like sets of colors. So I got this really beautiful, like slightly dark colored set and all like the pens the colors that you see the ink should match i've seen mixed reviews for this i've seen some people saying they're good but i've also seen people complaining about them i just thought i should try them out they do look smart they're plastic but like clean and nice looking now i'm just gonna show you a couple of things i bought from RGO and these are muji things you guys know i like muji they did and they still do have a little bit of a sale running a little discount on something so i took advantage of that sale and just purchased a few small things that i had my eyes on yeah i have this set of like stainless steel um wire clips four clips in total oh they look so nice this is a side view and this is the top so if you have any small bar or any small like thread or not thread like a rope somewhere you hang this clip on it like this and then you can hang anything from here uh, they actually showed that you could hang up any like uh, beauty products that comes in tubes or you could hang up your toothpaste just need to clip your toothpaste to the side here and it all looks so clean i think the uses for this could be endless you just have to use your imagination these clips look really nice so i could not resist picking up a set When did I buy that was this small? I don't even... Oh, I remember what it was. So what you see here is a small ceramic um, toothbrush holder. I believe this is made of porcelain, so it's a different kind of clay than I work with because I usually work with stoneware clay. And I could make something like this, but honestly, I just really like the look of the Muji one and I decided to purchase it. Um, I've seen this used for other things also, not just toothbrushes, but anything that requires to be like stood up straight, anything a little thick. The feeling of it in the hands is just so pretty. This is the bottom. And I love the green color. Just so nice. So, this is another one that I had my eye on for a while. And in here I have two little boxes of incense sticks. These are basically like agarbattis only. Like in India, we call them agarbattis, but a lot of different Asian countries use them and they're called by different names. I think the Chinese use them. Like my mom knew the Chinese ones used to be called jaw sticks in English and they light them in Chinese temples. And in Japan, also, these are a big thing. Oh, I didn't expect this. There's a little like incense stick holder. Yeah. So I just picked them up in uh, two different fragrances. They're quite affordable and each one you get 30 incense sticks. No, 30 grams. I don't know how many sticks that is. And also the ceramic burner, which is this. I didn't know that they packaged this in. It's quite a few sticks in the package, honestly. Uh, I would not be able to count them, so I don't know how many there are. And it looks like there's no wooden stick hanging out the way in our Indian ones like there's a little bit of stick this is just all burnable is that even correct but I bought two different variants I got the green tea one and here I also have lavender one two of my favorite fragrances honestly and I would not be able to get these kind of fragrances among Indian brands but when I had gone to Pondicherry, I bought a lot of incense sticks from there. And then I think when I went to the Isha Yoga Center in Coimbatore, 
I also bought some from there and I've never burnt them. So that's not ideal. If I should burn them. This is a really nice season to burn them. You know, just keep the window open and burn them and it makes the place smell so nice. And the last thing that I purchased from Muji or Najio itself are two of these rulers. One of the weird things about these rulers are that they only have centimeter markings. They don't really have inches. So if you want to uh, figure out like the inches, you need to use a converter or something. The ruler is made of aluminum and the quality of it is so nice. Like it's really, really nice. And it has this little slot thingy. I'm not sure what it's for. The design tapers a little. It's thick on this side, thin on this side. And then there are etchings of 1 to 15 centimeters it's just really pretty and i'm not sure why i bought two but these are just supposed to last forever and they said that even if you use it really heavily the etchings of the numbers are kind of laser cut deep in so they won't wipe off easily definitely like a worthy purchase i think to have at home because you never know when you'll need these <laughs> This is just the very last thing I bought from Amazon that came in this really bulky box. But it's actually quite light. This is kind of a water filter from this brand called Brita. So we started using Brita water filters since last year. It is a German brand and most of their water filters, they are non-electric ones because last year randomly our water purifier stopped working and uh, we didn't want to get like a new installation guy at home and this is a system that really works for us because the Brita is really easy to use and I think it's kind of changed our lives in a way. It's essentially like a jug and then you get little filters in it that's what does the water purifying and you need to change those filters every month. One of the cool things is like on the jug itself there is this little panel uh, that reminds you like as each week goes the markings go down and once four weeks are over it then flashes and tells you that you need to change the filter so this is the water filter jug i'm actually not going to open it right now it's plastic if you really drop it down especially when it has water it might break but we are still on our initial jug it's showing these minor cracks here and there so we'll need to change it really soon and i said i'm gonna buy a new one i also have enough filters for like the rest of 2021 because I like to stock and keep things at hand you know that's just what my mom taught me that's what I do all of your essentials need to be at hand so that you're not running around last minute and the first time I bought the jug I had actually purchased the bigger size one there are two sizes but I realized that when it's kind of full with water it becomes really difficult to handle the jug it's not impossible but you know it's irritating this time I bought the smaller jug so that the handling of it is easier and i just realized that i forgot to show you guys one more thing that i bought from amazon it's just this little dabba of sugar-free green which is uh, the sweetener that we use to sweeten all of our teas at home we've all switched to this and it's actually really nice first few days i started using this i didn't like it at all it is stevia based but then once I got used to it, like it tastes good, you know. So we go through quite a lot of these. And I actually like that they didn't send this in a separate box. They just stuck my label like onto it only. That's really smart and a good way to save packaging material. So that's it for today's haul. And now I'm going to move out of here and try to get some work done at my computer. Maybe stream a little. I found a new TV show that I really like watching called Mythic Quest. It's on Apple TV. Did you guys know that Apple had its own streaming service? I knew that it was there like abroad, but I didn't know we had it in India. And you can only uh, subscribe to Apple TV if you have an Apple device, like an iPhone, iPad, then you can only watch on Apple devices. So that's a bit irritating, but it's really cheap. It costs like 100 bucks a month. And there are few shows, but there are really good shows. So I'm watching this show called Mythic Quest and I'm enjoying it a lot, like more than I thought I would. I think it's like one of my new favorite things to watch so yeah so i'm having a little evening tea and this is a bit different from my normal chai i'm not having it with milk 
uh, because I've been feeling like a little sniffly. My sinuses have been acting up. Maybe it's the first sign of a cold. And every time I feel like that, I love having this. This is Dabar Hanitis Hot Sip. You get these in sachets and apparently it has 15 herbs. So this one sachet is to be added for like one times drink and you can add it to just hot water, milk or tea. I like having it with a black tea. And this is just not a medicine. It's purely Ayurvedic and I always feel that it really helps in the event of the light, cold and cough feeling because it just soothes and clears your throat and sinuses and it's very nice so especially great to have during winter time monsoon time like it is really the best and i always keep it at hand and usually if we are traveling also we just take a few with us just in case if you're going to be in like ac environment then all the more recently bought these temptations treats to try and tiny loves them little big basket haul this just got dropped off so here i have one bottle of this jiru masala soda so think of this as like coca-cola but an indian coca-cola based on jira or cumin so it's a little spicy and it's really nice so i saw this and remembered that i really like it and i was trying to figure out whether this would work with rum like a rum and coke but a rum and cumin coke i don't know uh, maybe i should try it maybe i should be that pioneer who you know sees if it works or not and here is britannia toast or rusk my dad really likes this so i bought it for him a kilo of tomato a kilo of potato a pony's tail over there and i got some fish now so we used to never buy fish from these apps but my mom is missing her usual uh, fish vendor lady who doesn't come anymore because the local trains situation in Mumbai is complicated with COVID so she does not come near our area and I'm just trying some packaged fish. I have raw basa chunks from Cambay Tiger. I've eaten basa in restaurants of course but never cooked it. It looks easy, it looks neutral. Might try some curry or something with this and a couple of these masala mackerels. I'm gonna link here to a Goa vlog in which we went to the fish market and bought some mackerels and made salad stuffed mackerels it's one of the few fish i'll eat so this is like a frozen whole mackerel that's already been marinated with masala and you just have to fry it so the first time i bought two and i really hope it's good here's half a kilo of okra or lady's finger or bindi whichever you prefer calling it and one box of matchsticks these are the slightly long matchsticks that are really convenient and uh, one packet of Malkist. I love their sandwich biscuits. These are just plain sugar crackers. No sandwich. The quality of this brand is really superb. Some Borges whole wheat pasta. Nowadays I only eat whole wheat pasta. I wanted whole wheat spaghetti. They didn't have it but I got fusilli which is like the spiral design and I think whole wheat is a little bit healthier and the texture is more chewier so I love that. And a couple of packets of this baked matri bakri i believe this is a snack out of rajasthan but i could be wrong so please don't pounce on me you're free to correct me though and it's something like khakra and all but thicker it's like a masala puri type thing my mom likes it and this tasties this is big basket's own brand and there was like a buy one get one free situation or something that's why i got two of them i just had a look at the jiru bottle and i was like oh they've changed the packaging but turns out it's a different variant like the other one was just a masala soda which was kind of like coke with spice but this is an apple juice based fizzy masala drink so i suppose this will be similar to like appy fizz but with spice so i don't think a rum will go with it but it should be fun to drink anyway yeah I'm still wondering why I got this. Did I read wrong or did they list wrong? So we are making one of our favorite dishes at home which is kurkuri bindi for dinner from the new batch of bindi that we just got. We found of course it 
it doesn't keep very well so it's nice to cook when it's super fresh and mum usually does the veggie prep work for me I just have to marinate it I found that marinating makes a really really big difference Here's what tonight's dinner looks like. Uh, there is pav bhaji. This is actually the gits ready meal. We've been having this every now and then. It's actually really tasty. There's some kurkuri bindi and here is pav that we bought from the pav wala just a couple of hours ago. We toast it little on the tawa. It becomes really really yummy like crispy and nice. And you can also enhance the pav bhaji with a little bit of butter and some fresh chopped onion. So really excited about this simple but yummy vegetarian dinner.